Everyone has different tastes, especially when it comes to popcorn. My brother, he likes extra butter. I like mine a little bit spicy. So today, I have some really fun ideas that'll suit everyone. Popcorn is a really simple dish, so you want to use ingredients that you really love. Kind of a fun and festive way to enjoy popcorn is in the fall at the farmer's market, you can find popcorn on the cob. And you can even find them at specialty markets. And you can't really get fresher than this. It's still on the cob. And it's just a fun, interesting way to pop your popcorn. And it doesn't get any easier to prepare. Just take your cob, you stick it in the bottom of the bag, and then you just fold it over a couple of times. Now I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. I'm just putting it on my popcorn setting. And remember, every microwave is a little different, so keep an eye on it the first time you try this. My popcorn's popped, so I'm gonna put in a bowl, cob and all, and then get started on my butter. Now I'm going to make brown butter, which is one of my favorite ingredients. It is so delicious and so simple. It's basically butter that you've melted and you cook it just a little bit longer so that the milk solids in it get nice and toasted. And it brings this really lovely nutty flavor to everything. I love this stuff and it is wonderful on popcorn. Butter is basically made up of two parts, oil, and then the milk solids. So we're just letting the milk solids toast in the oil. And that's what gives it that toasty, nutty flavor. So I'm just letting my butter melt. And what I want to have happen is let the butter completely melt and then it's going to foam up. So don't freak out when that happens. It will happen. It'll foam up and sort of spit a little bit. And what's happening is that's the separation process. So once it foams, it'll kind of calm down and you'll see all of those golden brown bits. And that's where it gets a little dicey. You want to make sure that you turn it off the heat because the brown bits will continue to cook if you leave it on. And you want your brown butter to be a really rich golden brown, kind of like the color of waffles. Well, this looks great. I'm gonna get my popcorn put together. My brown butter is browned and I have my popcorn ready to go. So I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of the brown butter. And this is a non-recipe recipe. It's one of those things that you put it together however you like it. If you like a little extra butter, add a little extra butter. And now for the sea salt. And because there are only three ingredients in this, I like to use a really nice sea salt that I can taste and has a little bit of crunch. And this is super casual. I'm just gonna mix it together with my hands. You just want the popcorn to get really evenly coated. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. It is so good. I love brown butter. It's one of those ingredients that it's sort of mysterious. You can't really put your finger on it and it takes something as simple as classic popcorn and just makes it a little bit more impressive. I've got one more popcorn and this one has a kick. I add sriracha, which is a hot chili sauce and a little bit of lime zest. It is so good. To start, just pop your popcorn how you normally would. I'm using my countertop popper. Popcorn's done popping, so I'm gonna pop it in the bowl. Now I'm gonna put my sauce together. It could not be simpler. Into my melted butter goes a little bit of hot chili sauce and some fresh lime zest. First, I'm going to zest my limes. So you just press into like this and you just want the very top skin. Next, I'm going to add my sriracha and a little goes a long way with this stuff. So I start with just a little baby amount and add as I need. And also you can just sprinkle it all over the popcorn at the end if you really want a kick. So now I'm just gonna stir it all together. And this is to make sure that I get an even distribution of the flavors over all of the popcorn. I don't really wanna get pockets of lime and pockets of hot sauce. I want everything to sort of melt together with the butter. All right, well, I think it's time to dress the popcorn. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this on top. And if you can't find sriracha, you can use any other chili sauce, but I love the flavor of sriracha. It has a little bit of sweetness and kind of a garlic note that is so good. Time for some salt. And just a healthy sprinkling. Now I'm gonna mix it all together. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I am 
just gonna drizzle this with a little bit of extra sriracha because I like my popcorn hot. And it looks really cool too. Well, I have to give this a try. It's so good. It's that perfect combination of spicy, citrusy, and a little savory. Oh, I love this, so perfect for a movie night.